The people of America have seen uh, this movie several times. The American damsel is tied to the tracks and the engine is bearing down. And the question is whether or not Congress at the last minute will come to the rescue and save this country. Today brings bad news and good news. The bad news is that the motion to proceed so that we could pay our bills failed because it didn't get the 60 votes, it didn't get the bipartisan support that we had hoped. This is playing with fire. Economists have told us in clear terms, we're dealing with increases in interest rates for everybody, every individual, every family, every business, and our nation. And the reputation of the United States is going to be damaged in a way it's never been damaged. The good news is that the meeting that uh, Senator Reid and I had with Senator Alexander and Senator McConnell give me a little bit of cause for optimism. Clearly the talks are in their very early stages. But I believe Senator McConnell showed goodwill. The conversations were extremely cordial, but very preliminary, of course. Nothing conclusive, but um, I hope that our talking is some solace to the American people and to the world. As I explained to Senator McConnell and Senator Alexander this morning, they're not doing us a favor by opening the government, reopening the government. They're not doing us a favor by extending the debt ceiling. Those are, that's part of our jobs. That's why we've said, open the government, let us pay our bills, and we need to do that before uh, we have any agreement on what goes after that. Obamacare is no longer their number one issue. Their number one issue is to do anything they can to divert attention from the fools they've made of themselves on Obamacare. So we're, 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 we have, we're taking nothing off the table. Uh, that includes, and I sent the speaker a letter, and of course, um, McConnell got a copy of that letter. We are willing to talk about anything. As Democrats, we stand ready to negotiate. None of us believes we're going to get our way at the end of the day, but we shouldn't be holding our country and our families and our communities hostage any longer. We ask the House Republicans to stand up, pass the continuing resolution that's in front of them, and then work with us on the challenges in front of us.